Let's go over a type of evolution known as prezygotic isolating mechanisms. Wow, there's a lot of words there. These are basically mechanisms that prevent the zygote from forming. In other words, these will prevent reproduction events. Now, there are five main types of prezygotic isolating mechanisms. The first is habitat isolation. These are when groups of organisms or populations are just in different habitats. For example, all these different locations within Africa and the giraffe populations. So giraffes from this area won't reproduce with this area, so it's a prezygotic isolating mechanism because they're not going to be able to reproduce together. Next is temporal isolation. This is when the different populations have different mating seasons. For example, all of these frogs have different mating seasons, so it's going to prevent reproduction from happening. Next is behavioral isolation. This is when the behavior of a certain group of organisms is going to differ and stop the organism from reproducing. For example, is the blue-footed booby, which has a particular dance that only attracts its own species. So the behavior here will regulate and stop reproduction from happening, which is again, a prezygotic isolating mechanism. Next is the mechanical isolation, and this is the awkward one. All I'm gonna say for this one is, these won't reproduce because their things just don't go together. I hope I don't have to explain it more than that, but they just aren't going to reproduce. And lastly is gamete isolation. So the red sea urchin and purple sea urchin should reproduce. They have the same mating season. They live in the same area. Everything's the same. It just, for some reason, the gametes don't go together and form a zygote. 